Dance Fever, hosted by Eric Nice and starring film and TV hottie Carmen Electra, the legendary MC Hammer, and director choreographer Jamie King. So put on those dancing shoes and welcome the host of Dance Fever, Eric Nice. Oh man, what's up, Studio 54? How you feeling? And how's everybody feeling at home? I'm Eric Nice, and I'm your host for Dance Fever. And over the next seven weeks, you're going to see some of the most slamming dancers in the U.S. break it down for the Dance Fever Championship title and one hundred thousand. yourself how did we find these amazing dancers well we went all over the country and held open auditions we started our quest where else in hollywood at the garden of eden we are so excited to be doing our thing on dance theater <laughs> we sent our dance coaches lisette and carrie ann to find the best dancers in america they saw the good the bad oh. and the ugly Everyone says it's so unique, and they're like, what's the name of that? Somehow, it, it was kind of boring, and that's odd for swing. Sorry. I felt it looked sloppy. I don't know. But you know, it's supposed to go ba da da. They do this all the time. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, God. Now I can't do it. Ba da da. You guys got style. You guys look great together. You're so talented. Great choreography. I think you're moving on to the okay. next round. <laughs> Definitely. Why am I falling? Why am I falling? Okay, edit all that. L.A. didn't disappoint us, and neither did Chicago. We held our auditions in one of the hottest clubs in the city, Excalibur. showed us many kinds of talent. Not all were good, but things did take a turn for the better. It's Dance Fever, baby! <laughs> What's your favorite pizza? Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to see that you love to dance, but it was just a little too wild and crazy. also took us to the China Club in New York City. It's not just the Big Apple, it's the capital of dance. Catch the fever! Oh. <laughs> Woo! You're a great tapper, but you're an amazing that was performer. Great. Do 
are moving on. Thank you. Thank you. Go, go make out. <laughs> At last, we headed south to Party Central, Miami Beach. At trendy Nikki Beach. of dancers. Dance is my life. It's who I am. It's in my blood. I like to think that I bring something really creative to choreography. So when I get an opportunity to work with an artist or a big pop star, hopefully I'm not going to do what's already been seen. Now I'm producing as well as directing and choreographing, so I'm wearing a lot of hats. So I just like the way it's progressing and it's all growing. I'm, I'm happy every day. Please welcome him to the show, Jamie King. Our second judge is a dancer, a movie star, and a TV personality. In short, she's a one-woman cultural phenomenon and one hot mama. A lot of people don't really know this, but I started off as a Soul Train dancer. Dance is so important to me, but my career sort of went in a different direction after that. I got a job at MTV and I started acting and sort of got away from the music and the dance. Being a part of the Pussycat Dolls is great getting back on stage. I love the feeling and the passion. That's why I'm so excited to be a part of Dance Fever. I'm just so happy to be back involved with dance again. Please welcome the beautiful Carmen Electra. is a household name who single-handedly brought rap and hip-hop into the mainstream with his incredible music and dancing. To be able to have people from all walks of life be able to relate to you as an artist, as a dancer, is a beautiful thing. Stop. Have a time. I've danced around the world. I've danced from President Clinton in the White House. Dance, for me, has truly been a magnificent ride, and uh, I'm very grateful. You can't touch this. The Grandmaster, M.C. Hammer! <laughs> the wait is over! Our first contestants are pumped and ready to go. The real competition is about to start, and they know they gotta bring it. You won't wanna miss this. This is Dance Fever, baby! Coming up, hip-hop goes head-to-head -head with ballroom, clogging, and salsa. It's so cool, though. It's so much fun. You'll have to see it to believe it, next on Dance Fever. Please welcome our very own Fever Girls. Here's how every episode leading up to the finals will work. We'll start with eight contestants divided into two groups of four, an A group and a B group. The A group will dance first and our judges will score them individually to determine the finalists. We do the same with the B group. Then the two finalists face each other in a dance off at the end of each show to win a spot in our grand finale episode. Now, 
Welcome our first contestant. He's 22 and a professional DJ from Wheeling, Illinois. Here is Casper. In college, I joined Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, it's a historically black fraternity, and through there, I got the name Casper, and now it's all anybody knows me as. I was a typical white boy. People look at me and don't think I can dance. Let's start here, bam, bam. My dad was always just like, girls like guys that can dance. And now that I started dancing, I go to the clubs, and it brings in some women here and there. This is like a natural high for me. I, I'm on TV, hi mom, and if I win the $100,000, I'm gonna pay off my school loans, and then I'm gonna go out and buy my mom a red Corvette, because she's always said that she wanted a red Corvette. Dancing to the Justin Timberlake hit, Rock Your Body. Here's Casper, give it up! Good job, Pastor. You turned it out, man. Thank you very much. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, before we hear from our judges, here's how it all works. Each of our judges will focus on a different element of the performance. Jamie King will be looking at technique. Carmen, visual presentation. And Hammer, the X Factor, entertainment value. The three scores are then tallied, and the contestant with the highest score of each group advances to the dance-off. Jamie, let's do it. Okay, good, good. Um, I think this, I think that you're an amazing dancer, an amazing performer. I like your style, I think that um, it fits you. I think the only thing that I would look for for you to be better at would be to stick your moves. Um, you were all over the place in terms of getting the audience involved, which is great, but I think, I wish that you would have stuck your moves a little bit more. Do you know what I mean when I say that? Like, bam, bam, you know what I mean? So I would just work on that. Otherwise, I thought it was a great performance. Thank you very Good much. Good job. Thank you, Jamie. Carmen. I thought you did a great job, and I like how you sort of tied in your clothes to your name, Casper. So you got, like, <laughs> the white outfit, the matching thing going on. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and it was really cute. It almost seemed like you choreographed it yourself, did you? Yes. Uh, I had a little help with some friends, but uh, for the most part, yeah. That's cool. That's really cool that you did it all yourself. Just yeah. keep working. Just keep working. And, Thank you, very you know, much. take Jamie's advice, because he knows. He knows how to stick, so. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, Carmen. MC Hammer. Well, I enjoyed it. I think uh, Cash has been—he's been working real hard, and uh, you can tell he—he uh, he tied in the movement uh, to the record. And uh, I like the spontaneity and interacting with the crowd. Uh, if he got under Jamie or somebody like you know myself, and uh, you know who would uh, who would uh, you know encourage sticking the moves uh, a little bit more, he has a, a huge uh, amount of potential. I thought you did a great job, and it was very entertaining. Yeah. Thank you very much, MC Hammer. Next up, two college students. He's a freshman at Northeastern University, and she's at the College of DuPage. From Chicago, Beata Benarenko and Martin Strozik. We met as a dance couple, and uh, we went for a competition to Ohio. Right. And uh, we were just partners at the time, not a couple. We both kind of had, you know, our little feelings inside, but we never thought it would ever happen. 
I guess we got along real well, so we just kinda, came together we just ever kinda, since. Let's just say we just kind of bonded. We might do this thing like right here. We call our dance passion because we express it through our bodies. It makes it a lot easier being a couple. You got moves going on where you're looking directly eye to eye. You know, it feels good. Dancing to Come Baby Come, here are Beata and Martin. are amazing. Woo! It's getting sexy in here. <laughs> it's getting hot. You know, what do you think, Jamie? You know what? Take it, off your coat. Yeah, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. I gotta be like you now. Uh, a reason to take off the jacket. Great job, you guys. Um, you know what? I can tell that you've been working together for a while. I like how you're together and you're in sync. Um, I feel like you can pay more attention to her, though. I feel like you were too concentrated on your five, six, seven, eight, when you should be focusing on her, because she's beautiful. She's lovely. Right, 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 right. True, true, true. So that would be my only comment. Otherwise, I thought it was a great job. Nice interaction. Nice variety of steps there. Good job. Thank you, Jamie. And technical. Visual presentation. The lovely Connie. Um, I thought you guys were great, but I kind of wish that, that you guys had, didn't have matching outfits. You know, because the, when you guys were dancing together, it was really sexy and romantic and beautiful. And I, I could see you in a dress, like show some legs and, and really be girly, you know what I mean? And maybe, wouldn't that be hot? And like maybe you could wear a suit. Maybe like black pants or something. I just think it would change, change the look. Um, other than that, I thought it was great. Only one thing, and I swear that I'm not gonna be mean because I th think you guys are amazing, but there was a little Janet Jackson move in there that's like really old and, Leave that out, because it's been, it was old, it's been done. Other than that, you guys are great. Thank you, Carmen. MC Hammer. I, I thought it was a creative routine. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, however, uh, I thought the sync was a little bit off on, on a few of the moves when they were uh, trying to stick them up here up front. And I think my man need a little more upper body strength to deal with her. Uh, you know, she's very strong, and so when he has to do the t up, up close movement, he got to be a little stronger to, to, to execute it. But other than that, I thought the routine was tight, and I, I enjoyed it. Thank you very much, MC Hammer. We'll take a short break and be right back with the final two contestants from Group A. And then the judges will eliminate all but one. The competition is heating up. This is Dance Fever, baby. Stay tuned for more slam and dancing on Dance Fever. Welcome back. Next up is someone we found at our New York audition. She's waiting tables while she pursues her dream of acting. From Northeast Pennsylvania, 26-year-old Shasta Steele. 
took dance for a little while when I was little, but then like we didn't have a lot of money to keep up with it. And one of my teachers loved me so much, she taught me for free. We've always struggled financially. I just always wanted like to be able to help my family because they're like the best parents and they're both actually in college right now working and it hurts me to see them struggle. They're just amazing people and I just really want to like make them proud and you know kind of like give back to them all the support that they've given me. Dancing to a track from Britney Spears latest album, here's Shasta Steer. You wanna take home, wanna make me your own. Do you even know what I like? Just what I'm living for, what I adore. Baby, take the time to realize I'm never gonna sacrifice the way I am. So if you wanna be my man, baby, walk a mile in my shoes. Pull me right on through. Can't you see that if you wanna stay around? Get it twisted, boy. I want you to. But you got my heart to win. Before I let you in. Let's just you, baby. I'm not the average lady. I need someone to love. Baby, take the time to realize I'm not the kind of sacrifice the way I am. So if you want to be my man. Shasta, East Coast sweetie, how you doing? All right. Jamie, Shasta. Yes. Eric, Shasta, Eric and Shasta. Um, <laughs> uh, Shasta, your style is uh, jazz, kind of funky jazz, right? Is that what you'd call it? Um, I'm not a trained dancer, I just... Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, that's, that's important for me to know. Um, I really, really, really like your energy. Thank I think you. you have great energy. Thanks. The problem that I have with your dancing is that a lot of times you are not dancing on the beat. And if you've worked with the people that I've gotten the opportunity to work with, like Michael Jackson, Prince, Madonna, these people, right. that would never be tolerated. So, I think that you have great energy, but I think that you should practice more and really listen to the beat so that you're dancing on the beat. Right. I don't have any training whatsoever, so that's... Okay. But I'll work on it. Thank Keep you. Keep working on it, okay? <laughs> Thank you for your honesty, Jamie. We appreciate it. Carmen. You're just, you're so adorable. You're so cute and sweet. And, you know, I agree with Jamie. Um, you have great energy. Um, I would start taking some classes, you yeah. know, just get in there and start working on it. I will. Um, that will definitely help because at some, like, you can really move like your hip thrust is like, <laughs> damn, yeah. girl. So if you just, just work, you know, just work on it and get some choreography. Yeah. Because, um, like, it, it was a little spastic sometimes. Okay. But other than that, I think you're very adorable. Thank you. That's what I remember personally from the New York audition was the hip thrust. Of course you do. That's right. <laughs> Hammer. Well, I thought she was having a lot of fun, and I could tell that, you know, she wasn't trained. And uh, most of us dancers all started out the same way, having fun. Like, she's having fun and interpreting the record. Uh, you know, she was catching that, uh, the same thing that you're catching with your hips, you can catch with your shoulders right. and, and your, uh, with your legs. It'll work for you, but you just have to, that, dun, dun, look. And, 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 and. So, it's, it takes the same thing. You can catch those same ones. You just need somebody to show you exactly. how to take it to the next level. Keep working hard. You got a, you know, you got a chance. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, judges. Now, let's bring out the final contestant in Group A tonight. These four guys used to compete against each other until they decided to join forces. We found them in Atlanta. They call themselves All That. All of originally started up in the mountains which is where it gets a lot of its stereotype from. Almost no one knows what clogging is today. 
we just basically want to show everybody that it's not just with your feet, it's your whole body. We're just trying to change the stereotype. I'm the quiet one. I'm probably the hyper one. I always have to have the attention. These are my three best friends in the world. You know, growing up as cloggers, you don't really get a lot of exposure. We've all got such a big heart for this sport that we'll never, ever stop creating. Dancing to their own special mix, here's all that. Yeah, that was hot. You guys hold the mic if you want to respond. Thank you. Yeah! Thank you. You guys, yeah. thank you. All that, okay? It says <laughs> it right there. They were great, right? Yeah. How great? No, you know. No, hey, I'm just, no, what I want to say is that I was, you know, I was looking most and listening most to, you know, the footwork because, you know, technical, that's me. But um, you're just, you were in unison, you were on, and, and then you had the music, you know, you were together, then the music stopped, and you, like, were still going, like, it was, it was amazing, and you, like, kept up, and you were all in perfect time. I appreciate it, I thought it was clean, I thought it was great, you're all that, it's great. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie, some good words from Jamie. Carmen. You guys were amazing, and you kind of have like a Jamie King thing happening with the shirt, and I, I like that. That's great. Um, Copy, Derek. At, fir <laughs> at first, I was going to say the name I'm not so sure about, but you really proved me wrong, and you guys are all that, and it was fantastic. All right. Hammer Entertainment. Okay. Hammer to the horse. They, they was doing it. I, I enjoyed uh, everything they were doing. That's real entertainment. Putting it down. The footwork was tight. They were on the beats. Everybody stayed together. Yep. Uh, actually, it was so tight. We, we could have did, you know, we could have did something to the beat with you because you kept it all on time. Excellent job. Keep up the good work. It's all left. All right. Amazing. Jamie, Carmen, and Hammer, you must now score each contestant from one to 10 in increments of one-tenth of a point. That means 8.7, 9.2, and so on. While they are locking in their scores, here's a brief recap. The judge's decision in my hand. Sadly, three of you are going home, but one will be moving on. Out of a possible score of 30, the first to go home with a score of 19.0, Shasta Steele. I'm sorry, sweetie. You did a wonderful job. All of you guys were amazing. 
secondly going home with a score of 24.0. Beata and Martin. I'm sorry, guys. Competition is tight. Man. Two are left. One's moving on into the dance-off with a score of 29.0. All that is going into the dance-off. When we come back, our next four contestants battle it out for a chance to face all that in our dance-off. Don't miss it. We'll be back. Four more compete for the chance to face all that from Studio 54 at the MGM Grand. Next, fabulous Beaver Girls. to meet the competitors from the B Group. First up, from Los Angeles, California, Monica Flores and Alex De Silva. I've always wanted to be a dancer. Once a dancer, always a dancer. Moved to LA basically to be a jazz dancer. And then I went out one night to a salsa club. And I saw the dancers and I just fell in love. I met Monica about maybe nine months ago. At the time he had another partner and then started dancing with him and then he taught me how to really do it the right way. Salsa is a very sexy dance. It is a very passionate dance and it's very sexy and we have great chemistry. I do this for the rest of my life. There's no plan B, this is it. Here are Monica and Alex. Talking. Hot. Whew. Great. <laughs> You're hot. You're hot. Sizzling. Jamie. Nice. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this. Yeah. Uh, back bend. I mean, where did that? How did you? How did you hold that? I mean, did you guys see that? I mean, that was amazing. Uh, uh, I got to give you props for that. Overall, I thought you guys were great together. The interaction was amazing. You were committed. You were there. You were looking in her eyes, which I appreciate and love. And uh, you were looking at him. I can tell you guys are really, you like working together. You like dancing together. And I think that's what makes you a strong couple, dancing. Um, so um, I love the back bend. I love the commitment. And I love the originality with the steps. You did some clever things I've never seen before with the arms coming in and out. I love that. So... Great job, great job. 
Carmen. What a handsome couple. You guys are so beautiful. I love that your hair is pulled back. It's so elegant and your red lips just pop and your, your outfit is gorgeous. It sparkles. The shoes, rhinestones on the shoes. It was hot, very couture, and I loved it. Congratulations. Alex is the man. Sure. <laughs> MC Hammer. I thought it was a great job. My man Alex, that's the upper body strength I was talking about earlier. You can definitely you know, hold her the way she should be held, lift her the way she should be lifted, protect her. She, she wasn't even worried about it. You caught her by the back of her neck. Bing! <laughs> you know what I'm saying that. And she knew she was in good hands. So we got good strength. Uh, the punctuation of the movement, man, you slid up on the back of your heels. I saw you glide in. So that means your, your weight on your feet was right because this is a, a, not exactly a slippery floor, but you know how to, to, to lift yourself up. So everything was perfect. Uh, great presence, great character, great looking couple. Excellent job. Yeah. Woo. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Next. From Corpus Christi, Texas, a 19-year-old dancer, choreographer, actor, and singer, Joshua Pettis. I was probably five years old when my parents got divorced. I became a bit depressed. Being a child, you don't understand things. And I know with me, I thought a lot of it was my fault. Going with my mother, I would just cry a lot because I loved my father, but I grew stronger. I love to dance. I wake up to see a light of another day just for that. It's what I enjoy doing. Dancing to that disco classic made famous by Vicki Sue Robinson. Turn the beat around. Here's Joshua Pettis. Get over here. Somebody loves to express himself. That was beautiful. Aww. Jamie. <laughs> Joshua. Can my, I get something from My you? man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking you about. You killed it, dog. That was good. Uh, you like to spin, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I can Hold tell. I can, I can tell. Yeah, you're a spinner. Um, are you, are you uh, technically trained or this is your thing? You are? Okay. Yeah, you know what? I was nervous at first. I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm kind of leery of you know guys, especially dancing with no shoes. That makes me nervous. But uh, you hit it. You hit it. You didn't quit it. It was good. And uh, what I appreciate most from you is your passion. You got a lot of passion, friend. You you like to dance. It's clear. It's evident. I think we all felt it. So good job. Thank you, Carmen. You could not learn head rolls that good at the Carmen Electra School of Hair Toss 101. <laughs> <laughs> you really know how to work your head. And you, you sort of have a little Prince vibe going on with the outfit. And, I, and you know what, I actually liked, I saw a lot of African moves in there when you were dancing. I could tell that you, maybe you took some African classes. And I thought it was really great. Great spirit. Entertainment value, MC Hammer. Actually, all I can hear in my ear right now 
is uh, Eric B saying, Hammer, don't hate. You know what I'm saying? Get the disco dude is tight. That's how, <laughs> that's how, that's how Eric B talk. So I'm saying that to say, you did a real good job, man. Uh, when you came out, we all was like, wait a minute now, what's getting ready to happen? But, and, 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 and I was, you know, I'm saying, you know, you ain't got no shoes on. So I was like, <laughs> but then you started putting it down and you, uh, you lived through the music. The music became a part of you, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. I thought you did an outstanding job. It's all good. All right, Joshua. Amazing. Woo. We'll be back in a moment with our final two contestants, and then our judges will make their final decision. We'll be back. I was happy that time. Um... Jamie King didn't say anything back. <laughs> I know. I was stressing about that. Don't go away. The dance-off is coming up on Dance Yem Grand in Las Vegas. This is Dance Fever. Welcome back. Next up, two NFL cheerleaders from Greenville, South Carolina, Jennifer and Jamie, the Kramer twins. I'm Jennifer Kramer. And I'm Jamie Kramer. We're twins. We grew up cheering and dancing together. And uh, now we are uh, NFL cheerleaders. Six, seven. Having a dad, you know, he was an alcoholic. And, you know, that gets hard on any kid that age because you don't understand. And you're, you know, and it was blamed on us. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three. I mean, there were so many tears growing up, and I had crying, but, you know, when you have someone at least to let all those tears out, and sometimes it's just so wonderful to let everything out and just cry to your best friend, you know, that's why cheering and dancing, it really lets go of all those fears and emotions that are at home, and you let it all out, and that's when you just shine. Here are the Kramer Twins. It's getting sexier and hotter. Oh my God. Who, who's Jamie? Who's Jamie? We got the same name. Nah, you better <laughs> represent, Mama. Um, okay. I think that there were some good moves in your combination here, in your set. I really like when you did the hat thing, the hat off of, you know, I, you know it was good. That was, that was clever, that was creative, and I appreciate clever and creative moves. Um, I think that you guys are strong. I think that you guys are, uh, you, you match when you dance, which is important, because it's just the two of you, so if one's off, it's kind of weird, one's dancing with the you know, people. Anyway, I thought that you were, um, overall, um, I felt like you were missing something like I didn't get I didn't feel like I was a part of your dance routine like with some of the other acts so I feel like um, maybe you should either pick another song or you should maybe involve me more in your dance does that make sense gotcha. <laughs> not in the middle but I just want more from you I felt like you held back thank you mm -hmm. thank you Jamie Carmen visual presentation every man's fantasy two hot twins I mean I'm getting 
even getting turned on yet. <laughs> Your bodies are sick. Look at those abs. Yeah, Damn. Sick is, good. sick is good, by the way. And I love your outfits. You guys are really adorable and cute. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. MC Hammer, the X Factor. You had good presence. You smiled, energetic. But the, uh, the dancing needs more, like Jamie said, it needs... Uh, it got to come from your heart a little more. You, you're dancing, but you're not really dancing. You're not enjoying what you're doing enough. But you delivered well. You got good smiles and energetic, but you have to come under some tutelage and uh, get with somebody who will draw it and teach you how to draw the dance from inside. Right. Don't just learn the moves. Learn the heart of the movement. Thank you to Kramer Twins. Okay, now, our last competitor from Brooklyn, New York, a 22-year-old actor and performer who goes by the name of Hypno. My name is Hypno from Brooklyn, New York City, where the flavor's at. You can never forget where you came from because that's your roots. That's why I gotta represent Brooklyn to the fullest. I just did try to fit in, you know, because you don't want to be lame. Because you could get beat up every day, you know, especially with a little Asian kid. I give respect to all the style of dance because each style of dance, like, you gotta put time in it, you know? You gotta pick one that you like and try to bloom like flowers, whatever. For me, a b boy is a lifestyle, like Neo from The Matrix. Like, when you know you're the one, you're the one. Dancing to his own unique mix of earth, wind, and fire. Here's Hypno. Fever, don't we now? Duh. <laughs> All right, judges. You're, you're, a com you're a comedian. This is a dance show. What, what's going on? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, okay, okay. You have great character. Great character. I think you're great. You engage the audience. You engage me. I, the other judges, I'm sure, loved you just as much as I did. You kept us entertained. Um, I work with a lot of kind of lockers, poppers, breakers, and they're great. So I see them a lot. Um, I feel like your dancing could be stronger. I do, I really do. I think you're great. I think that with training, you could be amazing. I think that right now you're not amazing, but I think you have potential. And I think that uh, more than anything, you dance from the heart, and that's what we look at a lot. So, good job. Wonderful. Thank you, Jamie. Carmen? I think you have a great style. You know, you're so original. I like the, the white outfit with the red tie and the red shoes. Um, and, you know, every time that you would pop, it was like, it was unbelievable. And I just want to see more of that, like, just, a little bit cleaner in some areas, and, and you w went straight to the Matrix. That was hot. <laughs> that was hot. Hammer. My job is entertainment. I'm going to follow that one on this one because 
I was having a good time watching you. It was a lot of fun and uh, your animation uh, and when you went uh, into the matrix and the bullets flew over you and all that, that was all good. Uh, I like when you started, right before the music started, the faces that you made uh, kind of got us all loose and ready for you. So you did a good job and uh, later on you can add some other styles into it and, and like Jamie said, you can add to your style, but you're, you're very entertaining. You did a good job. Great job. Thank you, team. Once again, it's judgment time. Just as with Group A, they will separately score each contestant from one to 10 in increments of one tenth of a point. Remember, Jamie is looking at technical expertise, Carmen, visual presentation, and Hammer, entertainment value. While our judges lock in their scores, here's a brief recap of the Group B contestants. We saw a lot of amazing dancing in this round, but unfortunately, only one of you will make it to the dance-off against all that. The rest will have to go home. Remember, a perfect score is 30. So let's see how well everybody did. First, going home with a score of 20.8. I'm sorry, Jennifer and Jamie, you are out. Thank you very much. Second going home with a score of 24.2. Hypno. Thank you, my man. Very entertaining. Good job. Two remain. Monica and Alex. Joshua Pettis. Who will it be going up against all that? With a score of 28.5, Monica and Alex will be in the dance-off. Good job, Monica and Alex. Thank you, Joshua. When we come back, it's the dance-off between our two finalists tonight for a place in the grand finale and a chance at that $100,000 jackpot. We'll be back. This is Dance Fever. Clogging versus Salsa. Who will win? The Dance Off is next on Dance Fever. Dance. From the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, this is Dance Fever. Once again, the Fever Girls. <laughs> In this, our first competition round of Dance Fever. All That won the A group, and Monica and Alex won the B group. Now, we start over. They will each have 30 seconds to show us their stuff one more time. And then Carmen, Jamie, and Hammer have a simple choice to make. Who is tonight's winner? All That or Monica and Alex? And the loser, well, it's not necessarily over for them. They will go into our wild card pool and get to stay here in Las Vegas. Then, right before our grand finale, all of the wild cards will compete again for one slot in the finale. But that's all in the future because right now it's showtime for all that. So put your hands together and give them some love. We're hoping that this is our day. It's gotta be. We've waited forever. Because we're gonna tear it up, baby. Let's get it, guys. All right, all that. You've got 30 seconds. Are you ready? Music, please.
saved a little something in your back pocket. <laughs> the only thing standing between them and a place in the finals is Monica and Alex. I think we have more tricks than the cloggers, so maybe we might have a chance there. All right, you've got 30 seconds. Music, please. Judges' pick is our first winner, Monica and Alex, or all that. Find out next on Dance Fever. Dance. It is time to vote. No scores now. Each judge has to pick tonight's winner. Who is it going to be? All that. Monica and Alex. Judges, what is your decision? This is it. Are you guys nervous? My heart is pounding. I'm sure you guys are nervous. Let's see. Somebody is secure, and somebody is going to have to work on their skills a little bit. Jamie King. All that. Carmen Electra, all that. And Hammer, all that. You guys are secure. Congratulations. We'll see all that next week in the winner's circle. Alex and Monica, you will go into our wild card pool and eventually compete against all the other wild cards for one more shot to be in the grand finale. And for all you guys sitting at home, you better tune in next week to see eight more hot dancers battle it out for the chance to win one.